Hey guys, it's Andrew aka Antboy, one of the Scotland the Big Picture Zombie Welders. Previously, I showed you some of the cool features I was doing into my garden to reweld it, and today I'm going to give you a quick update on how everything's getting on. I've continued to cover my concrete jungle with loads of wildlife and pollinator friendly plants and herbs. These are great because they encourage a whole host of different insects, from bees to butterflies to even moths. A lot of people don't realise that moths are important pollinators. Not only do things love to be on top of these flowers, but they also love to be inside and underneath. Just earlier, I found this larvae underneath one of the pots. Now let me show you what else I've added into my garden to make it better for insects and wildlife. We've added in all these mixed grasses, which are great for birds and insects to hide in. We've also been noticing that some of the birds have been taking dead cuttings from the grass and using it as nesting materials. We've noticed some bite marks on our leaves. These ones in the middle would have been from a snail or a slug, and the one on the outside of the leaf would have been from a caterpillar. This shows that one plant, or even just one leaf, can supply food for loads of different insects. And adding insects to your garden will also increase the numbers of birds and mammals, as these guys love to snack on insects. We've continued to add more bird feeders into this area, which we can't do much else with. These bird feeders have managed to attract lots of different types of birds. We've now managed to count 22 different species. Our insect hotel is thriving. We know this because we've seen loads of different insects around it, including rove beetles. If you want to know how I made this, then head over to my YouTube channel as I've got a video called How to Build Your Own Insect Hotel. We're now in the front garden where we've decided to let the dandelions and other things that people may call weeds grow wild. We've also added in some things like this broom. Dandelions are really important for insects as these are one of the first flowers to come out for pollinators to take from. And we've clearly seen this because normally they're swarmed with bumblebees and honeybees. We have carved out this path using birch logs, which is a great way to show that you can have messy and neat in the same area. We've also got these stumps, which are underneath or have encouraged loads of different types of insects, including wood lice. We also have added birch trees, heather, and more wildflowers. We make sure that these are all native, so it's best for the wildlife in our area. We have this amazing leaf pile, which you saw in my first video, and it's gotten a lot bigger since. Our neighbour has also added in this amazing rock garden. And we even have plans to add in a pond right where I'm standing. All these three things combined will be amazing for insects of all sorts. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has given you loads of ideas on how to make your garden more insect and nature friendly. But if you want more ideas like this and lots more, head over to the Scotland's Big Picture website and grab yourself a Me Welding book. This book is filled with loads of tips and tricks on how to make your garden more wildlife friendly. And remember, you don't have to do everything that I've shown you in this video and what's in the book. Even one thing would make a difference. Because if everybody did a little, imagine the huge impact that would make. I'll see you next time. Bye!